Hi there. How, How are you? BB. Well, hi, guys. Thank you for being able to pronounce my name. Thank you very much for having us. Thanks for having us. Well, thank you. I've got on the line, I've got Jay Busherell. Baruchel. Baruchel, yeah. Baruchel. And, I'm, excuse me, and Eric Andre, you guys are going to tell oh, me man. about dating and your new show on FX, right? Yeah. Yeah, we try our best. Woo. All right, Woo. then. Let's start with you, Jay. Tell me about see, men seeking woman. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's basically this kind of weird uh, cartoon come to life. Um, it's it's yeah, at the same time a bit of a love letter and hate mail uh, ab about uh, being single in your twenties and all the uh, degrading desperation that that, that entails. Um, but told uh, with the use of some very crazy elements like sex aliens and a penis monster and Adolf Hitler and a wedding a destination wedding in hell and uh yeah there, there there's just a whole bunch of really crazy stuff it's a very hard show to describe it's a rom-com on peyote yeah. is what i tell yeah, people that's pretty good actually yeah okay eric aren't i watching you on two broke girls already no i'm done you're done I'm okay out. they killed my character off <laughs> okay Murdered okay on okay camera like a hard bug okay video. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna be perfect for men seeking woman. That's right. So you're gonna baby, tell I'm us the antics out the box, girl. BB. You're gonna tell us the antics of these twenty something and dating. Now yes. oh, we got why you guys today. want us to know all of this? <laughs> I want you to watch the show, boo boo. It's uh I mean it's crazy because ideally, you know, <laughs> We've all been there, right? I think that. <laughs> I, most of I us don't know. own. Yeah, most of us don't own up to it. But go ahead. Well, that's that's it, and I think that's kind of the fun of our show is whoever you are, regardless of gender or persuasion or whatever. I I think you will see at least one moment from your dating life in our show. Um, Dating's I mean, tough. Dating's tough, right, Bowder? You got a husband? Da da yeah, dating tough. I, you know, but I had to kiss a lot of bad dates to get to where I'm at now. You gotta kiss a lot of frogs before you get Prince Charming. Exactly, and, and I do understand that. About. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And so, you know, ideally, you know, uh, you, you'll you'll sort of uh, you'll watch our show. You'll feel a bit of sympathy, solidarity, and uh, and dating will be revealed for the uh, ridiculous disaster that it is. Okay, let me ask you a different kind of question. I'm going to ask you, Jay. You seem to be, like, really out there. What are parents going to learn about dating a, in a 20-something? What are we going to learn about our kids? Uh, uh huh Yeah, I mean, listen, you guys have been through it. Uh, what? I don't know that there's anything I could teach you guys about your 20s that you wouldn't already know. Uh, but uh, I think you'll see how pathetic our generation is maybe <laughs> how what we've done the the irrevocable damage to social interaction that we've done with uh texting etc cetera, etc cetera. um it's a sad state of affairs it's uh, it's not like it used to be when my mother and father courted uh they had the traditional uh wooden shoe that my village has which <laughs> <laughs> He brought her the wooden shoe and said, will you go to the mountaintop for two nights with me? And, uh, and if they come down with a, a dead eagle in their hand, then they got married. And that's what happened. So it's very different now. It is very different. Well, that's what I was going to ask because, you know, I, I hear uh, people break up with text messages. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. they're cowards. It, it, they're so cowards. that's, they're cowards. yeah, it's very cowards. different. It is. It's, it's lame. It's really, really lame. It's cowardice. And, uh, and it's, and, and there's no eye contact anymore. And, uh, We're checked it, out. And it takes way, way less effort. You know, Le dating should be labor intensive, I think, uh, to a certain degree. Um, so, yeah, I think parents will tune in. And uh, and and thank Christ that they're uh, not in their twenties. A relationship. You guys are going to be takes, hilarious. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now, a relationship takes work. Okay, it takes a lot of nurturing. Okay, you can't just be sending text messages to your husband. Okay. Okay. Will we see any that. internet dating on you guys' show? Because that's really big. Uh, there's uh, there there is definitely reference to uh, Tinder, et cetera, et cetera. You on um, Tinder? You got to get off it, Valder. You got to get out there in the real world. 
Get on Grindr. Well, that's, <laughs> well, that's not what the major companies are telling us. You know, they say, God wants you to be happy. You know, use our service online and find the right person. You know, all of those things that they're saying to the 20-something people. I yeah. know. They're basically saying, you know, that, 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 that creepy eHarmony guy gets out there every time. And this is not the man I want to take love lessons from. Yeah. We're right? addicted to Viagra from those spam emails. Well, let's not go crazy. Uh, uh, Viagra or Akai Berry. Uh, you guys are going to be really, really fun. You guys seem to be a great combination Thank together. You. Tell, Thank me, you. tell me when you want us to watch on FX Men Seeking Women. Because I want to I want to see this. Because I think you guys are going to be very good together. Thank you. I think that that's very nice of you to say. I, and, I, and I think that we're surrounded by even funnier people. The, the, the show is populated by pretty incredible performers. And... And yeah, it's it's a show that begs no immediate comparison. So I, I think tune in because there's nothing like it on TV. Yes. And uh, you'll know within the first six minutes what exactly what I'm talking about. Jay and I do okay. in our career where we choose to surround ourselves with people much smarter than us so that we look awesome, huh. but our our co-stars and our, our writers are brilliant. Incredible. Hey, that's the first rule of business, surround yourself with smart people. So you're on the right track. Yeah, that's exactly that's right. right. Okay, oh, and, so when you want us to watch... On Wednesday nights at, uh, at, on FXX at 1030. We will be watching, and I expect you guys to come back and tell us what hilarious adventures you and, and mayhem that you've created on television. Thank you very much. Sounds we hope good. so. Thank you, guys. Your great interview. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Have Thank a nice you. day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>